Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez. We want to update you now on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Less than 24 hours now until senators are expected to confirm Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court. Republican Senators Susan Collins and West Virginia Democrat Joe Manchin both announced today they would vote to confirm Kavanaugh. Republican Senator Steve Daines said he'll happily take a private jet from his daughter's wedding in Montana if his vote is needed to confirm Kavanaugh tomorrow. Serial killer Andrew Erdialis has been sentenced to death for murdering five women in Southern California in the 1980s and 90s. The judge actually handed down five consecutive death sentences in the case and any individual ones were overturned. Erdy Alice was already spending life in prison in Illinois after murdering three women in the Chicago area. An outbreak of flea-borne typhus has spread from Skid Row to Pasadena. That city's public health department reports epidemic levels of typhus fever. At least 20 people have contracted the rare disease. To help prevent typhus, experts recommend using flea products on your pets, avoiding stray animals, and wearing pants tucked into your socks or boots when you're outdoors. Well, fans are fired up for Game 2 of the NL Division Series after a commanding performance by the Dodgers in Game 1. Hunjin Ryu's pitching and Max Muncy's three-run homer helped the boys in blue shut out the Atlanta Braves 6-0. to zip. Clayton Kershaw is starting tonight's game at Dodger Stadium. Well, now here's meteorologist Marquina Brown with a look at weather. Thanks, Juan. Let's talk about this forecast as we get into the weekend because we've got an area of low pressure that will pretty much be the main story. Because of that, expect somewhat cooler temperatures. They'll be right about average clouds and also a chance for drizzle as we get mainly into Sunday. For the beaches, you can see those numbers will hover into the low 70s over the next few days, upper 70s for LA and Orange County, while the valleys will see temperatures in the low 80s and then dip into the upper 70s. Lots of sunshine on Saturday for the IE with temperatures around 81, holding on to those low 80s for at least the next few days. Upper 70s for the high desert and the mountains will see numbers in the 60s. Back to you. Arkina, thanks. And join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast in all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Marquina Brown, I'm Juan Fernandez. Have a great night.